this one sleeping bag does, does everything, everything except, except one thing really well. well. Hey everyone, Steven here on My Life Outdoors. So, you know how in the Lord of the Rings, the 19 rings of power are given to the elves and the dwarves and the race of men, giving each of them the strength and the will to govern each race. But they were all, all of them, them deceived, for another ring was made. The Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring to control all others. And into this ring, he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. Well, I have been waiting for the perfect opportunity to reference that movie, and I finally found it in the sleeping bag that does everything except one thing really well, the North Face One Bag. That's right, one bag to rule them all. Here are all the many things that this one bag does well in one area where it failed. Let's take a look. Three and one. Okay, let's say that you are a frugal backpacker who enjoys going out in varied conditions. You like to go out in the summer when the temperatures are mild. You like to go out in the early spring or the late fall when the temperatures start to get a little cooler. You even enjoy pushing the outer edges of the shoulder season into below freezing temperatures. But you don't want to buy three different sleeping bags for each of those conditions. That is where the North Face One Bag really shines. It's three sleeping bags with three different ISO temperature ratings in one clever design. The one bag is a five degree bag, it's a 20 degree bag, and it's a 40 degree bag thanks to the clever layering system. Basically what the North Face has done is create a bag with three different configurations. You have a base with minimal synthetic insulation where you need it the least because your sleeping pad is what's really keeping your back warm not your sleeping bag. And on top of that base, you can put a light synthetic top for mild conditions down to an advertised temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Or if you need something a little warmer, you can switch it out for an 800 filled down top that is rated to an advertised 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Or you can go even colder by combining both the down and the synthetic layers to drop down to an advertised five degrees Fahrenheit. One bag, three temperature ratings. Before we continue, if you decide to buy this bag, I want to encourage you to consider buying it from Sports Basement, and not just because they are sponsoring this video. I'm going to give you three reasons why you should buy from Sports Basement, and all these are reasons that I've thought of myself. Sports Basement didn't ask me to say any of this. Number one, Sports Basement has no time limits on returns. As far as I understand, you can literally return anything at any time in any condition, but depending on the condition of your return, they will prorate your refund based on its condition. And honestly, I love this because I can't tell you how many times I bought something only to find out after I've used it a few times that it's simply not working for me. I'd much rather use something once or twice, find out that it's not for me, lose 10, 20 bucks or however I honestly don't know on a prorated return than be stuck with a $300 sleeping bag that I simply won't use. Second, Sports Basement is a small retailer based out of the San Francisco Bay Area and the whole reason why I've partnered with them is because I'm growing tired of supporting big, huge corporations like Amazon when there are smaller retailers like Sports Basement that are not only trying to serve you better, but they're also trying to give back to the community. Which, if you become a member of their basement tier program, you will not only receive an instant 10% off of all your purchases, but 10% will go to a charity that you can choose from, from a list of dozens, if not hundreds, I actually didn't count, of charities on their website. So those are some of the reasons why I've decided to partner with Sports Basement on this video. And like I said, they didn't ask me to say any of that. They gave me the freedom to say whatever I like, and those are the things that I really like about Sports Basement. So if nothing else, go and check them out. But if you do, make sure you use the link in the description. ISO certified. Now, 5, 20, and 40 degrees are the advertised ratings, but the real ISO ratings are a little bit higher. For those who don't know, the International Organization for Standardization, 
is one of two certification standards used to rate sleeping bags. All ISO rated bags are given three different ratings, a comfort rating, a limit rating, and a lower limit rating. And since the one bag is actually three bags, it has nine different ratings. But you really only need to pay attention to the comfort and the limit ratings. The comfort rating is the temperature where most people who tend to feel a little bit colder than others, that's the lowest temperature where you will still be comfortably warm in the sleeping bag. The one bag has three different comfort ratings, 52, 27, and 21 degrees Fahrenheit. The limit rating is the temperature where even warm sleepers, those who tend to feel a little bit warmer even when others are cold, the limit rating is where even warm sleepers will still feel cold, but not endanger hypothermia. The one bag has three limit ratings of 45 degrees, 16 degrees, and eight degrees. Then you have the lower limit, which is the temperature where you're going to survive the night, but it's going to be one miserable night and you might even suffer permanent damage. The one bag has three lower limits of 23 degrees, negative 17 degrees, and negative 28 degrees. Something you might notice is that the advertised rating is in between the comfort and the limit ratings. This is basically the North Face's attempt to target the average person between warm and cold sleepers with nice round temperature ratings. I will let you know that I've slept in this bag down to near freezing temperatures in the 20 degree configuration and just my t-shirt and my underwear and I was plenty warm if not hot at times. I've also slept in it in the 40 degree configuration down to about 48 degrees and I was comfortable but I wouldn't say that I was hot and but I certainly wasn't cold. Now remember that when they certify these bags the mannequin is wearing one full head to toe base layer and sleeping on a sleeping pad with an R value of 4.8. My sleeping pad had an R value of 4.2 and I slept in just my underwear and a t-shirt. So with those noted differences I feel like the advertised 40 and 20 degree ratings are probably fairly accurate while the 5 degree rating being under the ISO limit of 8 is maybe just a little bit of a stretch. I've not had the opportunity to sleep in it in the five degree configuration, but I believe you can trust those ISO comfort ratings. So if I was going to rate this bag, I would give it somewhere around a 10 degree rating, which is still a nice warm rating for below freezing temperatures, more than a sleeping bag. Now, the thing that has really impressed me about this bag is its versatility. It's not just a sleeping bag, and it's not just three sleeping bags. It's also a pillow. The compression sack for the sleeping bag has a nice inner fleece lining designed so that when you turn it inside out and shove some extra clothes in it, it becomes a pretty effective pillow. Now I will say that I've never really been a big fan of the stuff sack pillow. I prefer to take an actual inflatable pillow, but the fleece lining really helps. And I even found myself preferring it over my inflatable pillow, which was a little bit of a surprise for me. Another nice feature the North Face thought of is the ability to use the down layer as a warm blanket or a shawl. You're ever just milling around camp in the early morning or the late evening and you just need a little bit extra warmth more than your clothes will allow, you can zip off the down layer of the sleeping bag and wrap it around you to keep you warm. Now I've seen people do this with their actual sleeping bag sitting in camp in their sleeping bag and it doesn't look very comfortable and the sleeping bag is always dragging the ground and things like that. But taking just the top half of your sleeping bag, now that's useful. The North Face has even provided nice little snaps so that you can clip it around your neck like you used to do when you made superhero capes as a kid. And something that I always appreciate when it's included with a new sleeping bag is a really good storage sack. If you're not aware, sleeping bags don't do well if you leave them in their compression sacks. They really need to be stored uncompressed in a large cotton, or in this case, a mesh storage sack. Price. Look, sleeping bags can be expensive, especially nice sleeping bags. And if you need more than one bag, you're going to pay two or three times as much. But the one bag doesn't even cost $300. And at Sports Basement, they are only charging $289. And you can even take 10% off of that if you become a basement tier. That's like getting three high quality sleeping bags all for less than $100 each. And not only that, but these are high quality, well-made products. And for the versatility that this bag offers, well, that is a hard to beat price. But this bag can't do everything. And the area where I really, really wish that it would have performed just a little bit better is the weight. I was really hoping that the versatility of this bag was going to translate into substantial weight savings. But in all of its configurations, the one bag is just 
heavier than I would like it to be. In its lightest form, in 40 degree mode, it's just over two pounds. In 20 degree configuration, it's a little more than two and a half pounds. And in the five degree configuration, it's over three and a half pounds. And that's all without the compression stuff sack that weighs an additional six ounces, which is even heavier than my inflatable pillow. Now this was really disappointing to me as I was really hoping that the different configurations would translate into weight savings. But it makes sense that it couldn't because this thing has about four times the number of zippers that a normal sleeping bag has in order to accommodate its unique versatility. Most bags would have one zipper on one side of the bag, but the one bag has two zippers that go all the way around both sides of the bag and all those extra zippers translate into more weight. That, and the choice to use synthetic insulation in the back and the top layers, synthetic is just heavier than down for the same amount of warmth. I almost wish the North Face would have kept the design but used varying amounts of down in all the layers, or even a higher fill power in the one layer, but that, well, it probably would have made it much more expensive. And the last thing that I need to point out is that a quilt has a lot of the same versatility as the one bag with a lot less weight. A good 20 degree quilt can still keep you warm in near freezing temperatures and it can also work in warmer temperatures by simply venting your arms or your legs or, or half draping it like a blanket. Quilts can even be layered in a similar way to the one bag. So if you bought, let's say, two quilts, a 20 degree and a 40 degree, you can basically achieve the same thing as the one bag does, use them individually or layer them to get down to really cold temperatures. The only difference is you probably can't get two high quality quilts for under $300 for both. But if you prefer sleeping bags, then there's nothing else quite like the one bag. It's high quality, it's roomy, it's not clammy feeling, and it's three sleeping bags for the price of one. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you prefer sleeping bags, want something that'll perform well in a lot of different situations, and don't mind carrying a few extra ounces for the convenience, the price of the one bag makes this an amazing deal. If you decide to buy one, then give Sports Basement a chance and buy from them. Or if you're considering other gear, then go over, click the link in the description below and check out what they have to offer. You'll be supporting a smaller retailer while supporting a good cause and supporting me all at the same time. If you found this video helpful, then do me a favor and hit the like button so that YouTube will show it to more people. Or if you want to go the extra mile, then buy an awesome take a seat shirt at mylifeoutdoors.com slash store. Follow me on Instagram at mylifeoutdoors. And as always, Thanks for watching.